Well, let's come back to the hormonal piece, specifically testosterone. I know for the males, you mentioned before how this is important for males and females, but the aging males, I know this is a common area of interest and something that is naturally going to decline as, as males age. Let's talk about this as a whole. What do you recommend for somebody, say they're middle age, they've never had their testosterone tested. Is that the first step in determining what they need to do here? Yeah, I would get your, I would get testosterone and free testosterone tested because they're both important. Free testosterone is the testosterone that is actually active. Okay. So sometimes there's cases where you could have good testosterone total, but then your free testosterone is low. So you have, uh, cause it's bound up by, uh, something called sex binding hormone, uh, globulin, uh, which means it's inactive. Okay. So you can have low testosterone symptoms, even though your total testosterone looks fine, but I would get testosterone levels checked and then, uh, you know, get good, consistent sleep, eat a diet that's not lacking any nutrients. Uh, nutrient deficiencies can cause testosterone issues. So like zinc, magnesium, vitamin D being the most common. Um, I would have adequate fat and protein, especially protein, uh, in my diet, do some strength training. And then you would probably notice a nice substantial increase in both total and free testosterone just from doing those things uh, consistently. Now, if you're doing all the right things and your testosterone levels are below where they should be, and I would say, you know, below 500 total is probably where some men will start to notice some side effects, definitely below 300. Um, then you can look at hormone therapy. Hormone therapy is becoming uh, much more common these days because we're not quite sure, but we think it has to do obviously in activity, less muscle, but we do think that there are hormone disrupting chemicals now in the environment that just weren't present a few decades ago that seem to be causing some havoc in our, our, in men's hormones in particular. But before you look there, most men can significantly improve their testosterone levels by like 30, 40, 50% just from getting good sleep improving their diet and doing strength training. And Sal, you mentioned the TRT there and how people may need to turn to that. I know part of your story is you got to a point where your health was failing and you touched on this, the fact that, you know, you want to start with lifestyle first and doing the right things, Yeah, which you were doing, but you weren't getting the results and your testosterone was bottoming out. Yeah. So take us back there, what you were feeling, where your levels were, and then eventually turning to TRT to bring that up. Yeah, so uh, so people understand the context. In my uh, 20s and 30s, at the time, the the supplement market was uh, was there were there was a segment of the supplement market that wasn't regulated, or should I say, none of the supplement markets regulated. But there was a hormone segment. They used to call them pro hormones that you could buy over the counter. In reality, many of these were designer steroids. Um, and what these supplement companies would do is they were able to look at the current regulation, skirt regulation by creating, um, you know, by, by, I should say, researching pharmaceutical companies' discarded anabolic steroid conceptions, bring them to market. They weren't technically illegal, but they were actually designer steroids. And so I used these throughout that, throughout that period, thinking I was using what's called a pro-hormone, something that wasn't an active steroid. Um, and so that probably caused some permanent depressions in my testosterone level as I hit closer to 40. So I used these in my, my twenties, maybe into my early thirties on and off, stopped using them. Once they started getting to my late thirties, I couldn't figure out why I had all these symptoms of low testosterone. Now I didn't know it was low testosterone because my libido seemed to be okay, but I had all the other classic symptoms, low energy, uh, fat gain that seemed to be unexplained. Uh, my strength and muscle was going down. Um, anxiety, never had anxiety before. All of a sudden I was having uh, symptoms of anxiety. Uh, went and got my hormone levels tested and my total testosterone was in the floor and I had been leading a healthy life. So I knew, I mean, I could have raised my testosterone 50% and I still would have been low. So at that point I had to make the decision to go on testosterone uh, replacement therapy. And that was just a total um, godsend. It was a game changer. I think Western medicine for what it did, for what it can do is, is a miracle. Uh, but most people, uh, d won't encounter that. Most people's low testosterone can be remedied through lifestyle. I just happened to, I mean, 
uh, I took uh, hormones and hormone-like compounds that probably caused a permanent depression in my testosterone, which now I have to remedy through medical intervention. It sounds like when you started taking the medical intervention that things radically shifted for you. You mentioned it was a godsend. Yeah. Talk about that period when you started taking and how quickly you started to feel better and what that shift was like. Oh, within a month. Within a month, my energy was good. My anxiety disappeared. I felt like myself is, is the best way I, I could uh, describe it. So, you know, that's so, and that's like any, any uh, deficiency that you have um, that, uh, that needs medical intervention, like a vitamin or mineral deficiency, or uh, let's say your thyroid is, is low and there's nothing you know, you're, you're doing naturally that can, seems to work or help. When you then supplement it, it's a, it's a life changer. So I just felt so different. It was like, oh, this is why I've been feeling like crap for the last three years. This is, this is what's going on. But again, I didn't realize it at the time because my libido, low libido sexual dysfunction is like the number one thing men will notice with low testosterone. But there are occasional cases like mine where I didn't necessarily notice that. Um, so I, I didn't look to testosterone to, to you know, find a reason or cause for my symptoms. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. The default is going to be you're going to be obese. You're probably going to develop diabetes and you're not going to feel very good. And that's just that's just the way it is. And you have to step outside of that in order to change things. Muscle is so protective, in fact, that is.